Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Lolita Stitches. How are you all doing? To my returning subscribers, you guys are just the best. And if you are checking out this channel for the first time, consider subscribing. So today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful wrap dress with outside pockets. I'm combining a pattern dress with a plain material. Alright, so I have my fabric on fold already. I'm starting with the back pattern. Then I'll use the back to draft out the front, all right? So to, I'm starting with the half length first before the lower part. To determine the quantity of fabric to put on fold, you divide your bust circumference by four plus one and a half inch seam allowance, all right? And um, plus a, one and a half inch for zipper allowance. So in short, we can just say, bust divided by four plus three inches all right that is how to determine the quantity of fabric to put on fold for a wrap dress because we are starting with the back panel first this one and a half inches that i've drawn out here is for my zipper allowance and i've already ruled my lines that's the shoulder line the chest line the bust point and the half length all right and for my half length now i'm making use of 17 inches the full length of my client is 46 inches but for this half length i'm making use of 17 inches first so all the measurements will be taken we start from that zipper allowance and as you can see here i'm marking out half of a shoulder measurement because it's going to be a flat sleeve all right you can just remove half inch from your shoulder measurements all right so that you will have it sitting well on your shoulder and now to mark my neckline in this case i'll be making use of four and a half inches for the neck width and for the back neck depth i'll be making use of one and a half inches all right that is what i've already marked out there one and a half inch for the back neck depth and four and a half inches for the neck width remember your half inch for the shoulder slope and i've connected it to the armhole line all right so all the measurements start from that um, zipper allowance so now let's start imputing our measurements on the chest line i'm going to impute quarter of our bust measurement which is 12.5 plus one and a half inch seam allowance very important then on the waistline we are going to impute our dart all right to place the dart now you make use of the nipple to nipple measurement half of nipple to nipple measurement i have a detailed video on how to draft a basic body pattern i will pin that in the description box so that you can watch it if you are interested so i'm just connecting the dart lines now so that is for the dart and i'll mark half inch on both sides and connect it straight to the chest line all right so that is it for my dart placement then now i can go ahead to impute the waist measurement quarter of our waist measurement is 12 inches then remember we we've taken one inch already for the dart intake so we're going to replace that then our one and a half inch for the normal allowance now i'll just go ahead and trim that out following the chalk markings then i will notch the dart intake so that it will be easier for me to locate so now i just want to pin down the zipper allowance so that i'll be able to use the back pattern to cut the front i hope you understand that so i'm just spinning it up now all right so this is it for my front pattern unfold i'd already folded my fabric if you look at the style very well you discover that um one side is plain while the other side is pattern so i'd already cut out my plain and pattern fabric on each other to achieve the quantity of fabric to put on fold um when you have added three inches to your bust divided by four then you now add extra five inches let me just put it like this to cut the front panel 
your bust divided by four plus eight inches all right that will give you that will give you what to put on fold so here i'm drawing out extra five inches yours might not be five inches divide your nipple to nipple measurement whatever it gives you that is what we are going to use for our wrap extension so this is just to be able to get the wrap top so i'm placing the back pattern that we have drafted earlier on the front pattern now and if you notice i'm placing it from that five inches mark if your nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches then you divide that by two and yours will be four inches i hope you understand so i've gone ahead to also trim the arm hole and i will also notch the dots for the front all right that's basically it now let's move to the front neckline so to get the front neckline now i'm using the same neck width for the front but the neck depth is going to be different can you see so i'm just marking out that neck width on the front then i will come down on that um five inches line i'll come down by six inches because i don't want it revealing our boobs so i'll come down by six inches for the front neck line and i'll just open the back pattern so I'll mark my 6 inches for the front neckline. Then I'll connect it to the neck depth using my cuffed ruler. You can make use of your straight ruler. No problem. I have, I have a detailed tutorial on how to make a wrap top. Alright. So you can also check that out. So now from that uh, 6 inches mark, I'm connecting with my straight ruler straight down to the end of the fabric just as i'm doing now so i just want to blend in that part and make sure it's um, well blended so i'll go ahead now and trim the front neckline so that is it for our upper bodies i've drafted the front and the back now we're going to cut it out exactly the same way on our lining and when you are cutting yours you can as well add gum stay to the necklines all right so i'm just removing the pins for for the zipper allowance and i'll go ahead now and slit the back into two remember the back has to be two because we are adding zipper and i will go ahead and notch the zipper allowance so that um it will be easier for me when I'm fixing my zip. Alright, so that is it for the upper part. I'm just going to go ahead now and cut out my lining exactly the same way. So let me just open it up for you to see what we have after cutting. Alright, so that is it for the back panel. And for the front, this is what we have also one side is plain why the other side is pattern so i'll just go ahead and come cut out my lining exactly the same way now let's move to the down part of the dress all right so for the down part now remember i told you the length of my clients the length of the dress is uh, 46 inches and we had already used 17 inches for the upper bodies so when you subtract 17 from 46, this is what is left. And um, I've already placed the front on the back. To determine the quantity of fabric to put on four, this time around you divide your hip circumference by four, then plus one and a half inches seam allowance. That is for the front. Then you are going to add extra 1.5 inches to the back because of zipper allowance, all right? So, I have my length right there and now let's start uh, placing our measurements all right so now on the waistline you are going to divide your waist measurement by four your waist circumference divide by four then remember we are going to be adding that so all your measurements start from 
the front panel not the back remember the 1.5 for the back is just for zipper allowance so you place your tape just as i have placed mine and um you place quarter of your waist circumference plus one and a half inch seam allowance then plus one inch for that intake all right that's very important so from the waistline now uh, i'm um, coming down by nine inches i'm marking nine inches right there and that is the hip length all right so i'm just going to extend that line the nine inches mark is for the hip length and now i can place my hip measurement on that line on the hip line so our hip is also 50 50 divided by 4 will give me 12.5 plus one and a half inch seam allowance. I have 14. So I'll mark that right there. Do well to place your own measurements. This measurement is for my client. All right. So now at the M line, whatever we have on the hip line, we remove one inch. Remember, we measured uh, 14 inches on the hip line so on the m line we're marking out 13 inches and from there now you connect straight to the hip line and that is just that is simply how to draft the the skirt part of the gown very easy so i'll just go ahead now and cut that out all right so and i'll go ahead and slit the back open Then remember to place your dart, your dart. So we are still going to use um, the half of the nipple to nipple measurement, and that is what we we'll place for the dart intake. And that's what I'm rolling out right there. You come down by five inches, and we are good to go for the dart. So I'm just trying to trim it and make sure it's equal at the upper part right there, and I also notched the dart so that it will it'll be easy for me to locate when i start sewing and i'll slit the back open all right so that is for the zipper allowance and now we'll cut it out exactly the same way on our lining all right cut it out exactly the same way on the lining you can just remove reduce them um, let's say 1.5 inches at the down part so now we'll be working on the front panel of the skirt because that is where um, we have our design so i just cut out a straight piece of fabric let's say three inches wide and the length of the skirt so i'm just going to be sewing that on the front part all right, so now still on the front part, we want to get the pocket and to get that pocket is very simple. All right, so at the side of the front now, just as I'm placing my tape now, you can take away, let's say three inches, three inches from the side of the skirt. And from there now you connect with your cuff ruler to the hip line. So maintaining that my nine inches, I'll just take my cuff ruler and I'll connect the three inches to the hip line. Just as I'm doing right now. All right, so now that I've connected the three inches to the hip line, I'll go ahead and trim it out. If you want yours to be straight, you might not make use of your cuff ruler, but I like the way it's curved. So that's why I'm making use of cuffed ruler. And now it's time to draft the pocket. So we're just going to measure, uh, let's say 12 by 12 or 13 by 13. I mean 13 inches long and 13 inches wide. So I'm cutting two of that for the, for the pocket. And um, right now I'm placing the pocket right side facing right side. And I'll take it to that... Um, curved part and replicate the curve on it can you see so just watch this part carefully all right so now can you see what we have so that place is going to serve as our pocket space and i've gone ahead to also cut out my sleeve 
is a flutter sleeve. I have a detailed video on my channel on how to draft out this beautiful sleeve. And um, I'll drop the link in the description box so that you can check it out right after this um, video. So I've cut, I've cut out the sleeve and I also cut out the lining exactly the same way. I'll place it on the lining and I'll cut it out exactly the same way. So do well to check out the video on how to cut a flutter sleeve. All right, so now I've gone ahead to turn the upper part with my lining and I placed gum stay so that it can stay very well. Then make sure to give it a very good press. All right, so that all these um, linings will not be showing. And I'm just overlapping my top right now. So when you're overlapping yours, make sure your bust circumference is still intact. Make sure your bust circumference is still in place, all right? So that is what I'm trying to confirm, making sure my bust circumference is still in place. And I've also turned the back panel with lining and I've attached my zip halfway. I've turned the sleeves too with lining so i've basically turned everything with lining the skirt part everything has been turned with lining all right so if you don't want to make use of lining for yours it's fine but i feel lining makes your clothes to have a little bit of weight so this is for the down part the back panel i've also turned it with lining and i've given it a good press I did the same for the front part, all right? So I've turned the front part with lining and I've attached that um, plain material on the center, as you can see. All right, so now it's time to work on the, the side pockets. So it's time to work on the side pockets. And so we'll be making use of the pocket pieces that we have cut out earlier and this is what I have so I'll just place it under I think we need to go to the sewing machine together so that uh, you can see the way I achieve this oh, alright so this is one part of the pocket and this is what we aim to achieve all right, so it's best we go to the sewing machine together and check it out how to achieve this side pocket. All right, welcome to my sewing machine. So now we're just going to turn our already lining skirt. We're going to turn it to the wrong side. And I'm placing the wrong part of the pocket piece on the side facing the lining. Can you see that? So I'm placing it wrong side facing wrong side. All right, and um, then I'm going to place, I drafted out this uh, little piece of yellow material. All right, just following the shape of the pocket. I'm also going to place that on top of the pocket piece, all right? Right side facing the right side of the pocket. And I'm just going to sew everything together. So I'm, I'm going to stitch everything together like this and I've done that. So make sure to give it a notch so that it will be easy to turn. All right, then we can now go ahead and turn it to the right side. Can you see? So now that we have turned it to the right side, just that yellow piece, just the yellow piece is what we're going to match right now. All right, you open it up just the way I'm doing it. I, I want you to watch this part closely. If you notice, you see that I open up my pocket piece. Then I'm matching this yellow part on the fabric alone. All right, so you match the yellow part, the yellow piece on the fabric. And as you are stitching, remember, you know it's curved. It has this curvy C shape. So as you are stitching, you are also ensuring that you are arranging it. Can you see the way I'm arranging it with my hand? Or better still, you can pin it down so that it will be easy for you to navigate. All right, so now that I've stitched the yellow piece alone, all right, so I can now 
fold back the pocket. Can you see the way I'm folding it? All right, so I'm just showing you how it looks on the inside. So I'm just going to fold it over like this. Just watch what I'm doing so that you can really get what I'm saying better. All right, so I'll fold it like this and I'll just stitch that down part. Can you see how it's looking on the right side? So I'll stitch the down part now. Just like this. All right, remember to back stitch so that it won't lose. Okay, now that I've stitched the down part, our pocket is almost formed though. All right, so I'll turn it over to the right side. Can you see that we have our beautiful pocket placed out already? So I'm just trying to make sure that we have our three inches that we cut out. I'm making sure we have it in place. Then I'll go ahead and stitch it at the upper part. Then I'll also stitch it at the side. So I'll stitch the upper part. Remember to remove all your threads so that uh, your work will have a nice and neat finishing. So I'm also stitching the side. All right, so that is how to achieve this beautiful pocket. Very easy and very, very simple. All right, so I'm just going to trim out that excess. And yeah, we have our beautiful pocket attached already. Can you see what we have? So now we cannot go ahead to start coupling it up. All right, so it's time now to place the dart again. All right, so I'm just going to place my dart intake five inches i'll mark that on both sides and i'll come down by five inches also and that is what i've ruled out there for my dart intake i'll take to the sewing machine and sew that and um, this is the upper part of my dress i'm making sure the measurement is in place and i've gone ahead to stitch it together the overlap so then after stitching the overlap that is when i'll now place my dart intake also and here i'm measuring from my shoulder to the bust point all right from my shoulder to bust point then five inches from the center fold and i'm doing the same on the other side five inches on the center from the center fold so that is it for my dart intake i've imputed that on the upper bodies and also on the skirt part all right so now I'll just take to the sewing machine and attach the half length to the skirt part so that we have a single piece for the front. I've got to attach the half length of the back to the down part and I've fixed the zip. So I'll just turn it to the wrong side now and join it at the shoulder. I'll join it at the shoulder. I'll join my sleeve to heat. I'll join that shoulder, then at the sides, then I'll join my sleeve to it. After joining, this is what we have. Can you see how beautiful it came out? Thank you so much, guys, for watching to the end. Consider subscribing if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.